Welcome to California in Focus. I'm David Mastio, and today we're talking about the housing permit collapse in California. Joining me today is the Center Square's California reporter, Kenneth Shrupp. Kenneth, thanks for coming. Hey, David. Thanks for having me on. So California's housing permitted collapsed by about half between 2022 and 2023. There were uh, 135,000 homes permitted in 2022 and just 75,000 in 2023, according to uh, the most recent data available from the California Department of Housing and Community Development. Why does the Department of Housing say this is happening? The Department of Housing didn't give any exact answers to this. I was just going through their data, but talking to housing experts, what we hear is higher interest rates are combined with already inhospitable building uh, environment in California are to blame. Uh, when you have higher interest rates, it's a lot harder for developers to have projects pencil out. Developers tend to put up to maybe 20% of their own money in, but the rest they borrow. And when you're borrowing money, you're paying interest on that money. So the biggest cost that developers do pay is pretty much interest, right? So if you have interest doubling, tripling, quadrupling, then it's going to be a lot harder for their projects to pencil out. Is California alone in this situation or is it happening across the country? Uh, we, we are seeing housing production decreasing across the country, but California's decrease uh, appears to be the worst that I've seen thus far. This is because it's just a lot harder to build here. Again, as I said, if interest is your number one cost as a developer, then anything that makes your build time longer and thus your, the amount of time you're paying interest longer is going to be a real pain for you. In California, we have the longest building times in the state outside of, I believe, maybe Hawaii or, uh, yeah, I believe California does have the longest build times in the country, which means that you're paying the most interest and you might not be getting a big enough return. You've reported in the past that California has a pretty significant housing shortage. How big is it and what does this decline mean for how long it's going to take us to dig out of that housing shortage? Well, the, the state is estimated to have about a four and a half million home housing shortage. So at the current rate of permitting, uh, it will take over 60 years for us to overcome that shortage. Uh, but also just remember, just because a project is permitted does not mean it will be built because you know, developer and owner may decide just to sell the land. Maybe they can't raise the capital to actually build it. Maybe they just want to wait for better economic conditions. You, know, you can imagine someone buys a piece of land, puts a parking lot on it, and just waits for interest rates to get low enough that they can easily get the capital they need to turn that parking lot into an apartment building. So this is obviously a problem, and even Sacramento realizes it's a problem. What is California doing statewide to address this and what are localities doing to address it? Uh, so in California, if you're a city or a county and you don't have your housing element, which is this sort of housing plan that you have to submit to the state, if it's not certified by the state, developers can come in and apply for something called Builder's Remedy where they can automatically get approval to rapidly build certain projects that have uh, enough inclusionary zoning elements. Inclusionary zoning is when you allow for faster approval or greater density based on the number of quote unquote affordable units that are in the building. And affordability can kind of vary. It can mean that you're targeting moderate income people making between 80 and 120% of area median income. You could also have requirements that you know, there's a lot of units set aside for people of very low income. I think people, you know, closer to the federal poverty line or below. And a lot of these units can lose money. If you're not in a really high income area, area median income rents just for area median income could, could mean that your unit in today's interest rate environment, construction cost environment could be a money loser. And th these studies tend to show that inclusionary zoning reduces housing construction and uh, has a worse effect on rents than just allowing market rate construction. But by reducing inclusionary zoning requirements with some new bills proposed in the California legislature, we could likely see an increase in market rate units and a decrease in uh, requirements for quote unquote affordable units, which would drive more construction and larger decreases in rent in the long term. California has a pretty big problem with homelessness. How does homelessness figure into this? Uh, well, the cost of, of housing is 
a obvious contributing factor in homelessness. Even if you are mentally ill, even if you have a substance abuse problem, if you have somewhere cheap to stay because there's just a wide amount of housing available at a low cost, then you're not going to be on the streets. And it is easier for you to get treatment for your mental illness or addiction if you have somewhere that you can live especially if you can afford to live somewhere on a minimum wage, because when you have problems like that, it'll be harder for you to hold a higher paid but higher stress job. So if we can really improve the cost of housing and build a lot more, we'll be able to see reduced homelessness in the long run. Although that would probably also require having other city, other states uh, stop shipping their homeless to California. Kenneth, thanks for joining us today. Listeners can keep up with his work and more at thecentersquare.com. Some people would call him a loser. He ran for state office. He was beaten. He started a business. He failed. He ran for Congress. He lost. He was nominated for vice president. He lost again. But he knew only those who never tried are the real losers. And Abraham Lincoln was no loser. Persistence. Pass it on. From the Foundation for a Better Life at Value.